Hi, my name is Graham Stabler and I'm going to show you how to make a 5-axis toolpath using GMAX and the CNC toolkit. The first thing we need to do is open the CNC toolkit, so we click Max Script, Run Script. We find the script on the computer and click Open. And that's the CNC toolkit. Just to make it a bit clearer, we're going to minimise some of these sections just, to, just so we can see where we are. And I'll open the parallel spline section. Um, this lets us make sets of parallel splines. A spline is just a line. Um, let's change this to 10 and click Make Parallel Splines. And there's some splines that are parallel, hence the name. And we can project these onto an object and turn it into a toolpath. So we need an object. Um, so we're going to create a standard primitive. We'll make a sphere. And we'll just stick that under there. And then, because we want to project these splines down onto it, what we need to do is make the, a lower the sphere below the splines, or raise the splines up below the sphere. So we click the Move icon, click on the splines, and then we can drag them up, like so. So we're now ready to project the splines onto the sphere. So we open up Project Spline, and we need to pick a reference surface. This is the surface you're going to project your splines onto. So we click that click on the sphere and you can see there it says sphere 1 because that's what the object's called. We then click on the splines themselves and click project downwards and if we look in this window just there we can see they've been projected down onto the sphere so this is pretty much it's a three axis toolpath that shows what a, t a tool tip would be in a three axis toolpath if you were machining this with a 10 millimeter step over. So because we're doing 5 axis we need to work out the angles that the tool needs to be at and these are called vectors so we want to make a toolpath so we open make toolpath and we open vector calculations and in the vector calculations section we want our vectors to be perpendicular to this surface this sphere so we click use reference surface and it already says sphere 1 which is is correct so we'll leave that in the make toolpath section we click calculate vectors and in this case I'm going to unclick subdivide toolpath mainly because I want it to run nice and quickly normally in a 5 axis toolpath you'd leave that clicked and you can edit its settings in one of the other sections uh, spline subdivision there so I can now click make toolpath and it's made the toolpath the red is the path of the tooltip the yellow lines show the tool angle so now we've got a toolpath we're going to export it as g-code so I'll just close those down and we'll open toolpath export and export options so toolpath export there's a big button that says export toolpath and there's a couple of boxes to setting your feed rate and your plunge rate uh, in the export options we need to select the kind of machine we have there's obviously several different configurations of 5 axis machine but we'll just choose the first one um, our offsets are the distances between the two axes generally speaking you can't make a, a five axis head where the two axes cross in the same point in space so you'll have some offsets um, and we're then ready just to click export toolpath nothing much happens except you can now see a tool here and a bit of g-code flashed along the bottom here if you want to see the g-code we go to Matscript, script Mat script listener and this just outputs everything that the, the script produces and there's the g-code and we can just select that like so I won't select it all uh, right click copy then you could paste it into notepad uh, like so there you go and you can save that in whatever with whatever file ending you need okay so that's the g-code we can also do something quite neat we can simulate so if I click in this box and press play we can see the tool well, hopefully you can see it moving we can also drag the bar and watch the tool following the toolpath and you can see the toolpath is actually tipping in some cases this is because this visualization is optimized for four axis at the moment and that basically means that it, it looks better for four axis because generally speaking a tool will be above the work and the, the, the object will, will rotate or the toolpath will rotate it looks a bit strange here but you can see the idea 
And that's basically it. You've created a 5-axis toolpath.